we know the saying, we all know this, what goes up must come down, right? But what are the chances of junk from space falling onto your house? Probably not great, right? But it did happen so. in March to a family down in Naples after a piece of the International Space Station crashed through their home's roof. Now, SpaceX is trying to prevent similar instances. The company says all Dragon capsule splashdowns are going back to the West Coast, including astronaut missions after at least three occasions when debris from the bottom part of the Dragon crashed on land. News 6's James Barvero is on the coast with the latest. While launches are back, two Falcon 9s blasting off here over the weekend as the FAA cleared SpaceX to return to flight. That means the rocket that will launch the next astronauts to the International Space Station will be ready. But when Crew-9 comes back next year, it will be the last time you'll have a chance to see this. Copy, braced for splashdown. Because there's no longer going to be Dragon splashdowns on our coast. When astronaut missions got started, SpaceX changed how they got rid of the Dragon's trunk. The trunk is the expendable part of Dragon below the spacecraft and for the last five years, while recovery operations have been in Florida, they've left the trunk in orbit expecting it to burn up in the atmosphere. To their surprise, though, there's been a couple of times pieces of the trunk have survived reentry, like in May, when debris was found in North Carolina. So now SpaceX wants to go back to how they handled the trunk when they recovered Dragon in the Pacific, keeping it attached to the spacecraft until after reentry. They did it this way 21 times starting in 2010. What we'll do is we'll implement a software change to complete the deorbit burn before jettisoning the trunk like we did with Dragon 1. And then the trunk will intentionally land safely uprange in an unpopulated area of the ocean again. And with Dragon operations moving out west, that means one of the SpaceX ships at Port Canaveral will be moving too. Sarah Walker says another reason for the move is no more hurricane seasons. When we looked at the flight rules for wind, rain, wave height, all of the criteria that determine our flight rules for return, we actually saw that the West Coast sites that we're looking at have much better weather, which allows us to have much better return availability. And getting Dragon ready to fly again will still continue to happen here. So after recovery in the Pacific, SpaceX will have to move the capsule cross country. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six. It's interesting that they looked at all that. Kind of obviously makes sense with the weather yeah. of being so iffy uh, as it is in Florida. Um, Good point. You know, and obviously if you were hurricanes out west. Yeah. And, yeah. I, that just seems like a lot of travel. It certainly does. Hauling uh, that thing across the country. Back on this yeah. side. Mm -hmm. But they know more than I do. Wow. <laughs>